Whatever. People, my goodness. It's supposed to have been a glorious day. Chappelle returned back to the stage. You know, he's hosting Saturday Night Live. And what is hosting Saturday Night Live without some controversy, right? Or something to talk about so people can go and check it out. Dave Chappelle was bringing up a situation in which he wasn't happy. That happens to a lot of us. And by any means, it shouldn't have happened. In a lot of ways, these incidents shouldn't have happened. They shouldn't have happened under his watch. Nothing. But sometimes you got to fail at something in order to succeed later on down the road. Some of you might say, well, what do you mean by that, Arsino? And I mean this. And this is what I mean. Why am I dealing with a situation that doesn't best suit my call? In other words, Dave Chappelle came out in his monologue and talked about his grandfather. That he wished he was alive to see what was going on, you know, to see his name on lights, you know, to pass. You know, to see his name everywhere. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> He wished that could have happened. He wished those situations existed where his grandfather could be here to see all that happen. And he mentioned the fact that HBO Max had done a deal to get Chappelle show aired <clears throat> on its streaming platform and he don't get one cent of it. Not one dime. And said, man, He's like, I wish he was here to see that. He would tell me, man, you got bought and sold more than I did. And a lot of people said that joke was controversial. Joke wasn't controversial. He took a real life situation and mixed it with another real life situation. As much as people want to omit it, slavery happened, people. Slavery happened in this nation. I've seen black people who identify with themselves as being black, who married a black woman who has kids, but they're mixed. And they have different, different feelings when it comes to slavery. I had one tell me, well, we didn't invent slavery. Blacks enslaved whites long ago. It's in the Bible. Black has slaves. All in Africa. So if we we gonna be mad at that, why at this? What happened here? Why can't we be mad at what happened there? So I'm like, hmm. So you wanna make an excuse for slavery? You see? All of these things happen, and it's a complete distraction away from what's really going on in the world. 
And because these things are happening in the world and transpiring around the world, we have all these actions taking place. And all of these, what do you want to call it? Idiocracies. And people are out here spreading false narratives. They're creating false narratives to get people to respond, to run out, to go buy. Oh man, you got to go buy Dave Chappelle's or go check out the Saturday Night Live because he said something so controversial. What Bill Barr said, Bill Barr said was so much like more controversial and unspoken about because nobody from his race has ever said anything that meant so much. Ah, <laughs> it was greatly done. They got Eddie to sell out and throw Bill Cosby under the bus after saying he would not throw Bill Cosby under the bus when he was on SNL the first time around. Then he said a joke about Bill and they turned it into, he sold out. Eddie Murphy has sold out. So, you know, we've seen this behavior before. It's nothing like uncommon to us. But I would like to make a statement about some of these things. We laugh and joke, but at the same time, we're just all one people. You know, that's it. And all we try to do is do the best we can to get through and get to the next day. That's it. That's all we do. So everyone else wants us to be engulfed in their lives as an escapism. And that's cool. But at the end of the day, when you walk around, you're going to see white people. If you go to work, you're going to see white people. You're going to see black people. You're going to see Hispanic people. You're going to see Indian people. Everywhere. So you're going to have to deal with it. And the same thing, you're going to see us. We ain't going nowhere. And the crazy part is, I've been around all races and nationalities. And what's weird about it is all of them are the same. In one faction. They all want what's best for their families. They all want their children to have a better life and better education. Definitely the mom, all the mothers. They care about their children's education. They want them to be have a better life than what they had. They want to not have to worry about their children. That was their main concern. In every family, in every nationality I've been in, the children have been the main the main prize there. So, just let that sink in. So, if Dave Chappelle offended you on Saturday Night Live, then I'm sorry. For you. <laughs> because the world is a lot more offensive. I don't find anything wrong with what Dave has said. Not one bit. Now, I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. So if you had a problem with what Dave Chappelle said, please let me know. And to everyone else, I want to thank you guys for signing up to the Patreon. Like I told you, we always got updates coming. We always got the new stuff up and popping and running gonna hear from OGs this week on the Patreon giving you that real and you're gonna hear from you're gonna hear from uh, a lot of people on there there's stuff on that I mean we got tons of stuff on there find out what happened to Chris Lighty that's the biggest thing this week um, Soldier Slim Prodigy a lot of people are shocked to find out what happened with Prodigy. It's, it's so much on that. 
that you would never even believe. So I'm just happy that the people are finding it, they liking it, they subscribing. And I got to, it's my job to keep y'all full with that info, bro. Full with info. So on that note, it's Carcino. I'm out.